hundreds of years, government has tried to protect people from their own vices. This reached its most notorious apex during the universally acknowledged disaster of alcohol prohibition. But even today, many sins, that was an air quote on that, like drugs and prostitution, are still illegal, often with very similar effects to the ones that ravaged the country back in the 20s. That brings us to number five on our countdown of good intentions gone bad, the government's attempt to keep us sin-free. Joining us is Thaddeus Russell, professor of American studies at Occidental College and a man who believes fervently in sin, but we'll leave that aside, Thad. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us. <laughs> Sure, no problem. I understand that you disagree with our setup here, that uh, the, the government had good intentions to begin with with this, but let's set this aside <laughs> and talk about the uh, road to hell effects of things like uh, prohibition. You and I, um, uh, I think, attended the same uh, whorehouse in Alaska, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this was a museum. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> um, but I've heard you give a pretty interesting rap about what the effects of uh, prohibition on prostitution in the West did to those businesses and those people. What are some of the effects of these things? Yeah, so it wasn't just in the West, it was across the country. Um, through the 19th century, prostitution was technically illegal, but it wasn't enforced in most places. Um, and so prostitutes were free to uh, practice their trade both on the street, but more importantly in brothels. Brothels were tolerated by local law enforcement in most cities and towns through the 19th century. That gave prostitutions tremendous protection from violent clients, from the police. Um, they were relatively well paid because, of course, of the law of supply and demand. There was not much supply and great demand for their uh, what they were offering. Uh, madams who owned those brothels were among the wealthiest, not just women, but people in the entire United States, which gave them tremendous power politically and economically. Um, you couldn't really become mayor of San Francisco, Detroit, Seattle, or Los Angeles without the support of the madams in those towns. Wow. So these, this is all happening basically, by the way, before there's such a thing as feminism, really. Suffrage is a very early movement. I'm talking about the early uh, mid-19th century. Um, and so you really have women who are very, very powerful, who are doing a lot of things that women weren't supposed to do, like walking alone in public without a male chaperone. That wasn't okay for a respectable woman. Only prostitutes did that. The uh, cosmetics industry was built around prostitution. Respectable women didn't wear makeup until the 20th century. Um, they had property, they had wages, they protected themselves with guns off. And another thing that women were not supposed to do, all these freedoms that prostitutes pioneered for women long before feminists even raised them as issues, they were doing these things. Prostitutes were the first to do that. Then what happened was, the suffrage movement happens. Feminism and progressivism sort of convene around women's suffrage toward the end of the 19th century. And one of the things that they understood was we have to end prostitution. We have to prove that women can be good, upstanding American citizens just like men. And so they actually ran a campaign called the Social Purity Movement. Uh, which says it all, which actually called for eliminating the brothels, closing them down, and sending those women onto the streets. And what happened was, here were the consequences, of course we see them today, under overpasses in cities, on, in the worst neighborhoods, on the worst streets in American cities. Those women were forced onto the streets, they were forced into the care of violent criminals, we now know, now know as pimps, um, and they are, of course, subject to arrest on a nightly basis. So typically, an American prostitute today will spend at least 100 nights in jail during her career. Uh, that, those are the consequences of prohibition of prostitution. Well, I'm certainly glad that my respectability is not inversely proportional to my makeup wearing these days. <laughs> I do want to move on a little bit from prostitution, but it, it pertains a bit. When it comes to the drug war, I think many have many of